In the shadows of the U.S. Capitol, many families and churches hear the hammers of gentrification. It's not just changing the complexity of the neighborhood, it is affecting people's lives in terms of wanting to remain in the neighborhoods in which they grew up and want to still be a part of, and feeling as if outside pressures and outside forces and outside people are moving them out. Looking at that door, man, I remember all the good times I had in that house, man. It was serious. And so many friends stopped past, knock on my door, sit in my house, in my living room with me, eating at my kitchen table with me and my mom and my family. This was home right here. To be able to walk right here and see where I used to live at, I used to play at every day. It's like a sad moment, man. Every time I walk down it, I don't try to walk down it as much because I'm like, damn, man. I used to pull right through this way, come off of North Capitol to pull into my house. And man, I just remember all the memories. That's what I try to keep close and near and dear to my heart, the memories. Within that short period of time, it was just snatched. It was just taken from us. But then it's taken even longer to give it back. I don't know how you treat people like that, man. I never understand. So the way that the corporate groups and development groups decide on how they're going to use parcels and areas in the city is the main dilemma and challenge we have. Those of us that are pastors of churches and the nonprofit world, people that are trying to save our neighborhoods and keep our people in the neighborhoods as long as possible. Because in many cases, developers are being given tax credits and amenities for developing the parcels, but the city is not holding them accountable to providing so many number of units for lower income or for seniors or for people with disabilities. I could never compare this to where I lived at, you know? And here, it looks good. I mean, people like the outside look of the building. It was never about the building, the building that we lived in and the townhouses we lived in, I mean, they are that is nothing, you know? The people is what make the place. That's what anything. With an organization, your, your sports teams, the people make that stuff happen. Remember, the question is, what information in this article supports this statement? So we gotta pick between these three. Well, let's finish reading, let's continue. These conditions give 